Hey, I have a question for you. Are you busy? Kind of a silly question, right? Of course you're busy. We're all busy. You know, it used to be when we greeted someone and we said, hey, how you doing? The answer would be, good, great, how are you? Now the response is, good, really, really busy, but good. When did we get so busy? It seems like with all the technological advances, all the gadgets that we get to carry around, or all the apps that are supposed to help things be so much easier to do, with all of that, we're still overwhelmed with things to do. How do we fix this? Well, we start by getting ourselves a little bit more organized. So first of all, make a list. You know, there are a lot of common characteristics in the most successful people, and one of them is that they write their to-do list down. Making a list is a great first step because then you get all of these things in writing and they're much more apt to happen if you have them in writing rather than carrying it around in a little list on your, in your head. In fact, we see this every week with our clients at Retail Level Up. The clients who write things down and make their lists are way more successful than the clients who just keep a mental checklist. So first and foremost, make a list. Next, prioritize. Not everything on your to-do list is of equal importance. You've got to set some hard priorities. What is the most important use of your time right now? What is the most important things that have to happen today? What things need to happen tomorrow? And what things should go on a future list? Once you prioritize your list, tuck that future list away where you can't see it, have it be accessible, but you don't need to look at it all the time because that can really overwhelm you. So prioritize your list, focus on what has to happen today, and that's the list that you want to focus on. Next, take one thing at a time. Stop talking about how busy you are. Stop talking about all the things that are on your to-do list. Really focus on what you're telling yourself and what you're telling other people because you're actually creating a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you keep talking about how busy you are, you're gonna be busy and you're gonna feel overwhelmed. So slow down, take one thing at a time. You literally cannot do more than one thing at a time effectively. So focus on one thing at a time. Next, plan. Another common characteristic of the most successful people is that they schedule time for themselves to think. Now that might seem a little weird, but no, it is actually really effective. Schedule time to think, to plan, to strategize. This gives you an opportunity to not have, uh, be blindsided, not to be shooting from the hip. Plan out the coming week before you get to that week. Plan out next month, plan out next year. Take time to plan. And next, break those big goals down into smaller steps. You know, some of the things that we procrastinate on the most are those big, giant goals and projects that just are so big that we can't even begin to think about how we're gonna do it. Well, there's that saying, how, you do, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. It's kind of like that. You know, big goals, big tasks, hard work is really just an accumulation of smaller little steps that you need to do when you need to do them. And hard work is those little tiny steps that you didn't do when you should have done them. So take those big goals and break them down into actionable steps. In fact, Think about this. If one year ago you had committed to doing one small thing every day that would help move you closer to a bigger goal that you had, what would your life be like today if you had done that one year ago? Just taking those big action steps, those big goals and breaking them down into smaller pieces makes it much easier to take action and get things done. 
So follow these simple steps and you'll be much more efficient and productive in your day. For more tips like this, be sure to like us and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, and wherever you get your podcast, just search for Retail Level Up. And be sure to stop by on our website, retaillevelup.com, and sign up for our email subscription. We send out Monday Motivation and Top Tip Tuesdays, and all of us can use a little extra motivation right now, and we certainly can use some top tips. Because now, even more than ever, it's time to level up.